What is up guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button and if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. Listen guys, so yeah, it's official. TGIF on Fox Soul is done so. It's over. It's canceled. It is finished. Finito. Finite done over and I'm not sitting here and cheering or celebrating this but I'm just saying that I'm not surprised I was going to do a little bit more commentary about the interview that Claudia recently did with Carlos King but listen I I mean I said this when I was giving some of my commentary on it yesterday that just based on what she was saying about Al and then she said well, if the show doesn't come back, then I'm going to come out and spill more tea about the situation between he and I, and I don't really think that he likes me, and this and that and the other. This is a business, it's not her business, it wasn't any of their business, they were all employees or independent contractors, if we want to be technical about it, because I don't think they, I, I don't know if they got W-2 forms or if taxes are, you know, being taken out of their checks or they were getting a W-9 and they were responsible for their own taxes, but either way, they were employed, okay? So with that being said, this wasn't anything that either of them owned, so they all had to work together. And we all know that we sometimes, I haven't had a job in a long time. I've been independently working as an entrepreneur and owning my own business since I haven't worked on a job since 2007. So it's been a very long time, but I can say that I remember working on jobs and you work with people that you don't like. That's honestly more to be expected than it is that you work with people and you get along. You're usually going to be working with people that you don't like, but you come there, you do what is required to get the things you need to accomplish complete and then you get out of there and you get your money and based on what they were sharing which I believe may be Funky Dineva who was on the show before got the ball rolling with talking about how much money he was allegedly making I think he said he made $250,000 a year like that's honestly how do I put it I would say that was extremely, that was extremely complimentary for all three of them, for Fox Soul to be paying all three of these people over six figures to sit and talk about gossip and tea. I mean, I'm just going to be real because like I said, they're empl- they were employed by the network. And it started out one day a week. Then it started out them doing like two days a week. And then I think it went to three and then eventually went to five. They're working for one hour. Now, to know that these people were making over six figures to do what they were doing. And it's not like you're working there five days a week, eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day. Sometimes people who get given things like that don't really know how to handle it and maybe not even necessarily deserve it. So it doesn't last long. Now, Fox Soul had TGIF on there for, I think it's been about four years or so. So it's had a, it's had a pretty lengthy run, you know, but to have it go down in flames like it did is a sad thing to see, but Here's the thing. It's not just the three of these people that lost paychecks. Think about the other people who were employed behind the scenes. All of those people have lost jobs as well. Now, they may not they may not be struggling. I don't know any of these people. The people who were working on that show, maybe they'll have other opportunities to work with something else on the network, but to be honest with you guys, TGIF In my personal opinion, this is just my personal opinion, TGIF was Fox Soul. Like, can anyone else name any other shows that 
are currently consistently running on Fox Soul that you know of that you actually watch? Because even with TGIF, even when Funky Dineva was on there, I wasn't watching it every day. I watched some things and I liked it. And there sometimes they were getting on my nerves and I didn't like what they were talking about. I never agree with every single thing anyone says because that's just human nature. You know, if you're not a robot, you don't agree with anyone and everything that they say and do. So what else do they have going on over there? I am sad for all of those people that have lost jobs. Hopefully they'll be able to get some other opportunities and be able to bounce back. I mean, we know Armand, he's a YouTube vlogger, but it's kind of sad because that came and went very quickly for him. And I actually was rooting for him to to do well because I did feel like there were some people, I'm not going to name the vlogger, but she went on a... She, I mean, she went on a roast after he got the opportunity to be on there with another content creator that Arma Wiggins has had some beef with, I guess, and this woman's husband. And, and she was like, that show's about to get canceled anyway, and it's not going to last much longer than three months. And it's like, well, damn, was she right? But again, I was hopeful that maybe she would be proven wrong. But even with that, I don't think that the show ended because of what she knew. I believe the show ended because of what happened and she had no way of knowing that this was something that was going to take place, which was that roast. It was epic. It was inappropriate. It should not have been done where it was done. It was done during, let's just call it office hours, even though it wasn't a nine to five job, technically for them, it's office hours. That's the hours that they were working on the show, on the network. And it shouldn't have happened the way that it did. All of them have, all of them have to look in the mirror. All of them have some blame to accept in this situation. I'm not going to sit and say that any of the parties involved who were on the show as of late, are innocent. I'm not going to do that. Even if some people feel like Claudia put the battery in Armand's back to do the roles, I honestly, I do feel that she was the one that gave him the information because if you listen to what he read, he doesn't speak that way. And yeah, sometimes when people write, they don't write the way that they speak. So, you know, some people, (laughs) you know, they may say things like, I'm finna, they're not going to write, I'm finna. <laughs> They'll write, I'm going to. You know what I mean? So I'm just using that as an example. But either way, I do believe that it was inspired by Claudia, possibly written by Claudia. But again, Armand is an adult. He had the choice to not do that. He didn't have to do it. No one put a weapon up to his head and say, do this. Or, you know, it's curtains. <laughs> so... They all have to accept some responsibility. Al, whether the roast was inappropriate or not, he sat there, giggled and laughed. That was great. And I loved absolutely every minute of it. And then the next minute, as soon as the show was over, he's calling up Funky Dineva, knowing Funky Dineva was on live. He knew it. He knew Funky Dineva was on live and he said it out of his own mouth. Because Funky said, I'm on live. I'm on live. I don't give a F. As a matter of fact, listen. Hey, listen. Hold on, hold on before you talk. Joe, hold on, Joe, I'm on you, need hear this, you need to hear this on live. Hold on, this, you are people this, to hear you. I don't give a fuck. When I tell you go back and watch TGIF tonight, go back and watch TGIF tonight. What? So yeah, he said, I don't give a F. You need to go back and watch TGIF. Funky being who he is. <laughs> Girl, what happened? You know, like, I'm not blaming Funky Dineva. That's not what I'm doing in this either. But I'm just basically saying. And then Claudia, she said that TJF was her brainchild. It was her baby. Although she did not protect her IP, her intellectual property, she did not protect it so that it would be something that she would own. But yet still, she, in the beginning, because of a previous producer that used to be there, she had a lot more, I guess, 
say so and maybe some control in a certain way shape or form but then she was also insinuating that Al was going to production and saying things and doing things and causing rifts and this and that and the other but yet she talks about how she just had this idea that came to her and she wanted to do it with men instead of what she was doing at that time with women when she was doing cocktails with queens when it was Selena Johnson herself Vivica Fox and Lisa Ray so she wanted to do it with men so it was going to be her Gary with the T Funky Dineva and Al Reynolds Al she says was a friend of hers at the time at least so like what really happened now somebody left me a comment to say that they believe that the rift happened because Al is really good friends with Nene Leakes and there was a situation with Claudia going in on Nene in the earlier parts of Fox Soul and if you recall if you did watch TGIF when Funky Dineva was being introduced he would do this hand gesture he got that from Nene when Nene was going to be doing this similar type of thing on the internet not on like a network but just I guess maybe on her Instagram or Facebook or whatever I don't know where she was going to house it But it was going to be hers where she was going to be doing it with some other guys that were actually gay guys in Atlanta that she gotten fond of, whatever. So I digress. Al was friends with Nene. Clearly, Claudia was not. And I believe that there there was something that happened. And so thank you so much for the person who shared that comment with me because I was like, oh my God, I forgot about that. Thanks for that reminder. But yeah, I think that might be where the falling out happened between Al and Claudia because I think it has something to do with Claudia saying some things about Nini and then possibly Al did something, said something, he was going to lose his job, yada, yada. I don't know. I don't know all of the ins and outs and all of the specifics, but it was something along those lines. So all of that, I say, Al isn't 100% innocent either. All of these people bear responsibility, but the honest truth is, if they all were doing so well and making so much money, Claudia was talking about how she just bought a new house. And yeah, this wasn't her only gig. She's doing 2 movies. She's done some game show type things, like contestant things. I think she just recently did Deal or No Deal Island. I think maybe some other projects that she has going on. So she's not. she wasn't just making money from that show, but I believe that that was a huge chunk of it. And then Al, I think he had just recently, maybe some months ago, had just moved to Los Angeles from wherever he moved from. I don't even know. Don't follow him like that too, no. But if you all are making this money and you have responsibilities, it would behoove you to get rid of the egos and stop doing all of that messy stuff betwixt the three or however many of you online and, you know, somewhat on the show for the sake of, like they say, getting the bag. And now you've lost the bag and hopefully you'll be able to replace it so that you don't have to make any life altering decisions because of the income that you're losing, because it don't feel good. And I don't wish that on anybody. I really don't. But when Claudia was making the rounds and, you know, just recently here doing the Carlos King sit down, I, if I were her, I would not have done it. It's great for us, the, those of us who want to listen to it, get some of the so-called tea and maybe even share some of it as commentary. Cool. But for her sake, I didn't think that it was a good idea because if she was trying to save the show, Carlos wasn't doing that to try to help her. He was doing that to help himself just as he always does when he does these interviews. He's capitalizing off of the moment because he knows it's going to bring more eyeballs and ears to his platform, period. He's always going to look out for himself. And granted, most people do. Most people in who are adults in some way, shape, or form are self-centered in a way where it's like, well, I have to look out for me. I have to look out for myself. But... To what extent? 
because Carlos, he ain't even looking out for the people on his own show. And, you know, someone who was on one of his shows just recently passed away, and I'm not blaming him for that. But she was dismissed from the show, I believe. And I believe that he had something to do with it. I just don't think that any of these three people who have now lost a job were innocent in this. Armand was not a victim. Claudia wasn't a victim. And neither was Al. But I will say I did feel Claudia in a way because it was like, you know, like why is it that Al Reynolds of all people was on this show? Now, while I won't say that I hated him or anything like that, but it is a bit different because Funky Dineva, online personality. He's even done a few things with some of the reality shows where it's like a special or something like that. Love and Hip Hop. Love and Marriage Huntsville. He's done those things, right? He's done some tours with T.S. Madison, like live shows and things like that. Okay, cool. Claudia, she's been doing her thing over these past, you know, years. She's been on The Real Housewives of Atlanta one season, all right? Cool. Al Reynolds... What do we really know Al Reynolds for but being married to Star Jones? Like, seriously. And he would always talk about how much he loved that job and he's so grateful for Fox Soul and he was getting to get on the red carpets and, you know, interview people at some of these different events in Hollywood or wherever, wherever they're located. Now the Essence Fest is coming up and he won't be able to be, you know, I guess if he wants to get a ticket and go, he can do it himself, but it ain't going to be on Fox Soul's dime this year or next. And now it's like, if they had a cease and desist where they could not discuss Star Jones on the show or his relationship for this and that and the other. Why is that? And why are you in Hollywood? Why are you in a position like this when, like, weren't you like a banker or something? I think he's also a professor. It To me, it just is a bit different and it's questionable. I'm not saying that you have to be stagnant and stay in one thing or you can't have other aspirations for other stuff. But to me, say what you want to say about Claudia, but I will say I feel like Claudia did help him to get this opportunity and in some way, shape, or form felt betrayed or backstabbed. While I'm saying that, I'm also not saying that she's a 100% victim either. I'm not. But yeah, they all have some blame to take in this when the roles happened and the backlash after it. And then Armand went on his channel to pretty much like stand 10 toes down at it and just be like, we're fine. We're just on a hiatus. We were going on a break anyway. Y'all holes is mad and bees is mad and everybody mad and just shut up and you don't know me. And it's like, <laughs> some of us were rooting for you. And then this is what you do. Now, there are a lot of people making comments saying Funky Dineva was a show. Once he left, it was a wrap. It was finished anyway. They should have just already canceled it. I didn't like that because I didn't feel that it was fair for people to say, oh, well, Funky's gone. The show needs to be canceled because it was an ensemble thing. It wasn't just about Funky Dineva. And it isn't fair when you have situations like that where you have maybe one or two personalities that seem to shine brighter than another, but it's not a one-person show. All of them are there and they all brought something to the table. So I didn't think that that was fair, but even while I don't think that that was fair, but maybe it was time for Funky Zaniva to go because if it got to the point where he was the show, it wouldn't have lasted like that anyway, because as soon as he had to be out for a sickness or maybe he took a vacation or a family situation going on and he wasn't able to show up and then the show goes on and they have somebody come and sit in who's this effer who's this n-word who you know like <laughs> and I'm just saying because that's how some people are and it's like well it's called TGIF it's not the Funky Dineva YouTube channel like let's just try to be fair try to be rational so I didn't think that it was fair for the other two to have to suffer because he either, one, chose not to accept an offer that they offered to him or two, 
they dismissed him. Because again, if he says that Al was his friend and he don't really have no smoke for Claudia except for he's keeping some in the chamber just in the event she tries to come out and be messy with some stuff, then it's like, but you said Al was your friend, so why would you want the sink to sh- the uh you know the ship to sink if your friend is still on that ship? I'm just saying. So if it got to the point where people were saying, well, he was a show, they should have just already canceled it. Then it's like, well, maybe this was supposed to be for a short period of time, uh, not forever. And, and it was fun while it lasted. So maybe that's the way she, and all of them maybe need to look at it versus saying it's this person's fault that it's no longer going on. Sometimes situations like this occur for a reason to go forward with making that final and ending it. Because sometimes we as people, we get used to how things are. It gets hard to let it go. And then it's just like, no, this is supposed to be great. This is supposed to be like this. This is supposed to be like this. So I'm going to try my best to make it work. And then it just doesn't. So they all bear responsibility in losing those checks. And TGIF was Fox Soul. If you have another show that comes on there that you can let me know about to prove me wrong and show me different, then let me know in the comment section. But I actually was going to do this commentary over maybe a couple of weeks ago, but I just never got around to doing it, where I was going to do this commentary saying TGIF is Fox Soul, but now it's TGIF was Fox Soul because it's no longer. So look at that. But yeah. Just wanted to talk about that briefly. It's over. And so let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful. And now I'm going to say bye.